Hello, welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. West House. <laughs> it was a farce at Bentham yesterday. Getting bit by a hornet and long grass, small coil, <laughs> flogging a dead horse. <laughs> so I've come here where my friendly sheep keep the grass short. I'm on the large coil. And hey, look. What I failed to get yesterday. Uh, trying to read in there. Uh, uh, 11 posts anyway. And it's, uh, what year is it? 1814. 1814. So we got a seal. Yeah. I think that's a lead door handle. <laughs> Tell you're in West House. Lead. <laughs> Welcome to West House Mill. Look at the size of that chunk of lead. <laughs> Scrap man, here I come. Ah, uh, it's one of those um, Archangel Pewter seals. I think they're 1825. If not, it's 1809. They don't keep right well, Pewter. Very old loom weight. Uh, very old. That hole goes all the way through, I think. Could be a spindle wall. I don't know if they did them long. I'm just clearing out this last space in this field here. Uh, few and far between. That is uh, where the wick goes through an oil lamp for an oil burner. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. This is a cloth bale uh, for the cloth. When it's rolled up into bales, uh, it keeps it open. It's got the name on there. P. I oh, know it's an R actually. R I L Pilia. Somebody or other. And. Oh, yes. Yes, indeedy. It's in three parts. They're very thin of these, that's muck in the middle. There's the outside, then the inside, and then there's this, cl this bit shoves through, and then they flatten it down and it holds it in place. Oh, I'm pleased with that. A bale clamp, to give it its proper name. Yeah, indeed oh, a button. It is not a hemway, as some would have us believe. It's a button. And they, uh, they covered, they cut some material off the coat or the dress or whatever and they sewed it over this so the button was matching the, um, the clothing. I've had them with the cloth on. It is a button. Oh, funny signal that one. The wires have ripped out, look. Uh, post 78, I should be able to tell who that is. And it's 1809. Yay! A pewter spoon. These are all either um, late, uh, early Vicky or late Georgian of these. Okay, we got a loom weight. There was a wire in there, come up and bent round, you've seen them before, uh, for keeping everything under tension. If the wire had been in that end, it would have been a plumb bob. But it's a loom weight, it goes that way round. Hey, another seal, 1808. They're a bit dirty round here, but... Hey, there are some still. That's the house up there in the trees where the orphans lived for who worked in the mill. And I've just found one of their little toys, look. It's a whirly gig. Um, the, the, you put the string through one side, out the other, all the way around, back again, and then you get hold of it from about a foot apart, twist it up, and you go woo, 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 woo as you pull it in and out. A whirly gig. And the little serrations uh, give it a, uh, a higher uh, sound. Yes, a little child's toy uh, from 1800 and odd. A little orphan, and that was his toy. Hey, another worldly gig. Huh. 1814, another seal. Post 98. Now, oh, what are you? Looks to be folded. Looks to be a folded over piece of lead. 
I thought for a moment it was a token, it's too thick. Hey Lou mate, could very well be a plumb bob with that uh, iron fitting in the top there. Right, my mates don't seem bothered about me. <laughs> Except, can you see the horns on them? Where's the other one? There you are. You're rams, aren't you? What are you? They've all got horns. Yeah, they've all got horns. They ain't bothered about me. <laughs> oh, my only coin of the hunt. George three. One, two, three little ones up there, look. George three. I make it, what, 18 or six? And is it Britannia? Is it Britannia? Yeah, she's in there. I, I, I can see a trident. <laughs> That's about all in an arm. <laughs> nice. 1806, George III, copper coin. And there he is. Right, I've got a feeling I may be rained off any moment. <laughs> Looks like he's putting some footings in there. <laughs> Another building. <laughs> Little house, hundreds of buildings. Right, it's farewell from the uh, Yorkshire Dales. Uh, the weather's... it's a bit, getting a bit cold in the air, so... I'll give it up while I'm winning. I only did a very small area over there by where those sheep are. But... Uh, <laughs> It come up with a few seals. So, I'll see you at the roundup. Take care. And welcome to the roundup. <laughs> Had a good time today. Short grass <laughs> and a big coil <laughs> and some seals. <laughs> oh dear, welcome to the lead capital of the north. <laughs> Look at the size of these pieces of lead. <laughs> No shortage of lead at West House. Look at them. Oh, no, 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 no. This was that bit that was sort of thick and folded, and it's had a couple of things pushed through it, but I've no idea what it is. No, no. Okay, bits of copper, um, bronze, machinery. Out. What they're doing way up on that hill, I don't know. Oh, that's um, the lamp. Had the wick from a lamp, an oil lamp goes through there. It's not a round thing that's been squashed flat, that is the shape it should be. And that's a bearing. Oof. My goodness, there's some money in, in bronze in that equipment. And there was a ring, if we can call it a ring. Right, let's get on to some lead. I like lead actually, it, it tells lots of stories, does lead. And I have an abundance of it up my way. Loom weights. Funny. I didn't get one with the, the, the ring on the top. And normally I get a, a couple of those. Uh, pewter spoon handle. This is the door handle. Look at the, that chunk of lead. That's where the, the iron goes in there. And then when you turn it, dunk, dunk. Whirly gigs. <laughs> I hope you like the little demo. Little kids toys. Hundreds of years old. And they're still using them today. Ah, uh, that's a button. Definitely a button. Right, shall we go? Where shall we go? We've got um, 1808. If uh, some may have noticed that at West House it's much earlier than at Bentham. West House is, is oh, primarily around about uh, just before 1814, whereas Bentham's round about 1826 to 31-ish. Much later. There's an 1814 and 1814. Four nice ordinary um, Russian bale seals, flax bale. And then we got this, uh, oh it's two grid, 18, oh there's a one there, now that's interesting, 18 
just won something. Yeah, let's we'll stick him on the database. A-L Oh, there's all sorts of intermixed letters. They mix Latin and Greek and Cyrillic and fancy script look. That's upside down. <laughs> can't, no wonder I can't read it. Um, L it's, it's not even a B, it's an apostrophe. N Ya N with um, an apostrophe at the end. What does that say? It says E R C. It's a, a reversed R and a letter C, which is an S. So it's E R E E R S. That's what it says. I don't know what it means, but that's what it says. Look at this cloth. A cloth clamp. Brilliant. Now I've come to the conclusion that this isn't Russian. It it can't be Cyrillic. They, they don't have the letter R, it's back to front is their R, so it's got to be Latin. So it says P E and their A or their A's, not L's. It says Pear Drag. Limited? Is that limited at the end? Pear Drag. Oh, that's interesting. I'll look it up and tell you about it next time. <laughs> And then on the back we have these, um, they look like Zs, I, actually I think the twos. Uh, mm, nice one. And that leaves us with this. A bit better Nick than usual. There he is, down the bottom there you'll see 18, 1806. There's old George III. There's the one, two, threes I keep on about at the top there, just under my fingernail. That's where to look. Up there at two o'clock. Georgius three DG Di Grazia Rex. God by the grace of King by the grace of God. <laughs> Although he thought he was God, didn't he, George three at one time? <laughs> And we have, if I get this right way around, you've got to turn them upside down. And this one's slightly, oh, there she is, Britannia, look. There. Britannia. An 1806 copper coin of George III. And the only coin of the day. Quite pleased, I got a couple more bale seals. That's five more nearer the the target but they're getting very thin on the ground now I mean I've got somewhere in the region of what is it 835 <laughs> so wonder there's any left hope you enjoyed the little thing on the world of gig you can use a button or, or anything uh, a simple child's toy which costs next to nothing and when you put these little serrations on it makes it really buzz 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 there you go then, another hunt, one more, it's out there, go get it, till I see you next time, you take care, bye. Pear drag, oh I'll be looking you up on the net, <laughs> see you later, bye.